Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look at a DIY project and uh, what I'm doing today is actually installing a one kilowatt solar system on my rooftop and uh, the one that you're looking at uh, is actually the solar structure which I sourced locally and this is a DIY uh, type structure where you could, uh, it's a nut and bolt system. So along with the structure you also get this uh, flooring mount where you could uh, anchor your structure to the flow so you have to drill a few holes and put this in and then uh, you just need to uh, hammer it in and that would enlarge the bolt and it would get fixed if you don't want to do that you could also put a concrete pillar like what i'm going to do in this uh, installation now this particular structure i bought this locally from chennai and this is a galvanized iron made structure and this is purely a nut and bolt system. You just need to have a couple of spanners and you can tighten this in. It would be all set. So I'm just going to do a quick installation of how uh, you could fix it. Now, guys, the reason why I'm doing this is uh, rather the reason why I'm installing uh, solar on, on my rooftop is to create awareness to people that uh, moving over to solar energy is, is pretty simple. And... Uh, at the at the end that is at the, the start of the installation yes it might be a bit costly when I mean, you we might need to sell out few thousand rupees out of your pocket but uh, when you look at the longer picture you would initially start saving uh, in the next uh, four or five years or even less than that depends on how you source the product now I got this locally in Chennai the reason is because I wanted to look at the structure before I purchase it so that's the reason why I didn't go uh, online shopping so this particular structure is uh, has only two legs and uh, it gets mounted and uh, the installation which I'm doing uh, on my rooftop for now is going to be a one kilowatt so this structure can hold up to three panels which is of one kilowatt but I would also uh, upgrade my system. I might install another kilowatt system uh, based on how effective it's for me here in Chennai. Now this particular video is divided into two parts guys. The first part would be having this structure installed and mounting the panels. The second part would be the wiring and the installation of an inverter. So in this case, you would actually need to buy a solar inverter so that you get maximum benefit out of your uh, installation. And then I'm also looking at uh, a project where I might move over to a lithium ion phosphate system for the batteries. I'm going to uh, stop using lead as it and I would start using lithium ion phosphate, which is a future project as well. So this is how the structure looks like after you install. And then what I did was on the rooftop, I made uh, a hole I removed the red tile and then all the sand uh, with it so that the the concrete comes up and when you pour concrete onto it so that it makes a proper seal then what I did was I took a couple of tiles made this in a square structure and then on that I'm gonna pour concrete so that it it forms a proper seal and I have also attached the railing that's where on the top is where your solar panels would be mounted, which I would show you at the later part of the video. So like I said, I have uh, poured concrete into it and uh, now if you see this particular uh, pillar, it's actually a bit, a bit cross. The reason is because the tiles were not the right ideal uh, type so what I did was on the other end I actually took an Amazon uh, box and I placed it inside the hole and I poured concrete into it and I put some tiles at the end so that it makes a proper uh, square type structure now if you're planning to do this I would suggest you to use the Amazon box method because it's much simple and easier And if you see this particular structure is already angled at a 15 degree and I have uh, placed the panels facing the south side. Uh, 
I might also paint the structure and uh, so that it doesn't get uh, rusted. So the concrete actually is from the from the flooring at least uh, I think it's it's up to two inch so so it, it actually has a proper tight foundation and since I'm keeping this on my third floor I wanted to I wanted it to have a sound structure that's the reason why I, I, take, I took this route of having a pillar installed now I have left this concrete to cure for almost uh, three days and let's remove the cardboard box first you have to remove the tiles I actually kept the shi uh, shining side facing towards the uh, concrete so that it doesn't stick permanently so let me tear that box now overall I'm pretty satisfied with the results guys and uh, having this installed using this uh, cardboard box method really helped and if you see it's pretty neat and I would paint this as well Now this has become a solid uh, mount. Uh, I don't think uh, this, the mount would go out anywhere. So I've, I have mounted the panels as well. The panels are three panels. Each is of 325 watts. So which is equivalent to 925 watt. That's the maximum, theoretical maximum that it could deliver. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with what I did. Uh, now, this is a labor-intensive task. Uh, if you would like to have this installed by yourself, you could certainly do it. Uh, it took me entire day, so I started around 11 a.m. in the morning, and having this installed, it took me almost till 9 p.m. Uh, yes, it is labor-intensive, but if you would like to get your hands dirty, if you like DIY stuff, and if you are if you are a person who can uh, get that done and if you feel that uh, uh, you are you can do it then yes I would suggest you to do it but just to warn you guys this is pretty labor intensive but yes at the end of the day you do get that satisfaction once you get that completed and the overall structure is pretty solid so thank you so much for watching stay tuned for the part 2 where I will do the wiring installation as well as the uh, inverter